56% of reported cases of COVID are likely not infectious. Nadine Wellwood, correspondent for the Western Standard. Manitoba government's expert witness admits PCR test results do not verify infectiousness. In a Court of Queen's Bench hearing in preparation for trial, the Justice Centre for Constitutional Freedoms, JCCF, versus the Government of Manitoba, Dr. Jared Bullard, Chief Microbiologist and Laboratory Specialist, and witness for the Manitoba government, stated, PCR test results do not verify infectiousness and were never intended to be used to diagnose respiratory illnesses. Dr. Bullard testified that the most accurate way to determine whether someone is actually infectious with COVID is to attempt to grow a cell culture in the lab from a patient sample. If the cell culture will not grow the virus in the lab, a patient is most likely not infectious. A study conducted by Dr. Bullard and his colleagues found that only 44% of positive PCR test result cases would actually grow in the lab. Another way you could state this, 56% of reported cases of COVID are likely not infectious. If Dr. Bullard's findings are correct, this calls into question the practice used not only in Manitoba, but every province in Canada, the use of the PCR test and classifying positive test results as cases. Positive PCR test results are identified currently as a case and have been used to imply infectivity, which according to Dr. Bullard's own admission, is incorrect and inaccurate. It is worthy of mention here that some Canadian news agencies have actually quoted Dr. Bullard as having testified that a positive PCR test indicates infectivity 99.9% .9 of the time. Again, this is incorrect. Dr. Bullard actually testified that a PCR test will detect any viral NRA that is present in a sample 99.9% .9 of the time. However, determining whether or not a sample is actually infectious, meaning can containing the viable virus and capable of replicating, needs to be confirmed by lab culture. As noted, only 44% of all positive samples using a CT cycle threshold of 18 returned a viable lab culture and samples tested at a CT of over 25, according to Dr. Bullard's report, produced no viable lab cultures. He went on to say that while a person with COVID is infectious for a one to two week period, non-viable, harmless, SARS-CoV-2 fragments can be detected by a PCR test for up to one 100 days after exposure and that PCR tests do nothing more than confirm the presence of fragments of the virus in someone's nose. Dr. Bullard admitted that Manitoba has known for some time that a given PCR test CT value is inversely correlated with infectiousness, meaning that testing for COVID as higher threshold levels can result in many false positives. Manitoba has confirmed that it utilizes CTs of up to 40 and even 45 in some cases. Meanwhile, Dr. Bullard's own research confirms that cases resulting from tests from CTs of 25 or more are not likely infectious. The Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms called upon their own medical experts, Dr. J. Bachachara, world-famous epidemiologist and professor of medicine from Stanford University, and Dr. Thomas Warren, infectious disease specialist and medical microbiologist, 
both whom presented evidence that PCR test is unreliable in determining whether a person is infectious with the actual COVID-19 disease. The onus is now on the government of Manitoba to justify its restrictions on charter rights and freedoms as being reasonable, necessary, and beneficial. The outcome of this case will have tremendous implications on all levels of government in Canada that have ignored multiple warnings and alternative viewpoints of medical experts and others, instead choosing unilaterally to impose restrictive lockdown measures based upon PCR test results of reported positive cases that may prove to be overstated and inaccurate.